it, it honestly was the most important and pivotal day of my life. And that's including my wedding. <laughs> okay. Happy World Oceans Day, everybody. Yay! I hope you're celebrating in some way, getting close to or near or on the ocean today to celebrate World Oceans Day. I can tell you that today is a very special World Oceans Day for me. Today is the 10 year anniversary of an organization that I founded called the Petty Harbor Mini Aquarium, just outside of St. John's, Newfoundland. This organization has been open for 10 years. I can't believe it. I honestly, I can't believe it's been a decade. Um, and 10 years ago today, this happened. The town of Petty Harbor, Maddox Cove, welcomed a new addition to the community this morning. Forget the ribbon. The official kelp cutting ceremony was held at the new mini aquarium in Petty Harbor. Volunteer Evan Raymond did the honors. He says this is another reason why it's an exciting time to live here. This aquarium is here for children just like Evan. The mini aquarium is about education, but also curiosity. Children can touch all the strange and slimy things local divers had plucked from the sea. You're going to see lumpfish, sea cucumbers, sea urchins, sea stars. You're going to see uh, lobsters and crab. Beautiful cod that the fishermen right here from town have collected for us. <laughs> So Evan was a grandson of one of the local fishermen who helped us make this whole organization get off the ground. He was so cute. He used to come by the aquarium while we were, you know, busy painting the walls and uh, fixing the floors and setting up the tanks. He was there to help with small jobs as we were getting as we were getting ready. It was really cute. Now, what is the Petty Harbor Mini Aquarium? Okay, so the Petty Harbor Mini Aquarium is a small catch and release aquarium based in the east coast of Canada. There are several of these community aquariums across Canada, and what they all do is they collect animals just before the season starts. They put them on display for a short period of time so that visitors can come and see and explore and learn more about these amazing animals. And then the animals are released back to the ocean at the end of the season. So this kind of catch and release concept was developed by my mentor, Philip Brooker, who was the founder of the first community aquarium or mini aquarium uh, in on the far west coast of Vancouver Island, which is where I got my start. It was like my very first marine biology job. And so I loved it so much, I literally like brought it to Newfoundland. celebrating the 10 year anniversary, but actually it was 15 years ago. So five years prior to the start of the aquarium that I set myself a BHAG. So a BHAG is a big, hairy, audacious goal. And what it means, and actually here, the concept is from this book right here called Good to Great and by Jim Collins. And ultimately what it means is that instead of just setting a goal, that's kind of like, okay, by Saturday, I'm going to cut the lawn. Instead, you're setting a big, hairy, hairy meaning like you have no idea how you're going to set the path to get there it is it is like a jungle of being able to like get through the weeds of figuring out how to get to this eventual goal. And it's audacious. It's big. It's big thing. It's it's a big thing that you would consider taking on. And that's what I did. I, I set myself a BHAG to start an aquarium in Newfoundland to mirror the one that I have had such an incredible experience with in Yaklulit on the West Coast. In those first five years, when we were just getting it started and it hadn't actually opened yet and we were just planning and developing and designing and getting the funding and working with volunteers and creating the vision and creating the finding the location there were so many pieces to this puzzle it really did slowly but surely become a, a clearer and clearer vision and then we landed on opening day and it, it honestly was the most important and pivotal day of my life and that's including my wedding <laughs> okay so i think it's it's key. It was a very key moment um, and pivotal for my career, my development. And since then, of course, we've taken that same model and, and there are now six mini aquariums or community aquariums across Canada and all modeled after this concept that Philip originally um, developed that I helped replicate uh, in Petty Harbor. That was how I worked towards getting becoming the marine biologist that I wanted to be. You know, I I really loved education and interpretation and I really loved the East Coast of, of Canada. I thought the marine life there was so unique and special and the story of, of Newfoundland was is, is still like incredibly important to me. And so this was my way of kind of creating this thing that I loved over here that I thought needed to be over here. 
And so I just, we developed it. So what is your BHAG? What is your big, hairy, audacious goal that you can set for yourself that would help you move forward towards becoming the marine biologist that you envision yourself to be? Marine biologist isn't really like a pinpointed job. It really does have a lot of options for where you could take it. And so where are you taking it? What part of marine biology is most exciting for you? You know, is it eventually like living on a boat and being an underwater photographer? Is it being able to do shark research in the Galapagos? Like what is your BHAG? You might have no idea how to get there, but setting yourself a big, hairy, audacious goal can be a really big motivator to keep you focused, to keep you determined, to help be that North Star, even when you feel lost or when you're not exactly sure where you're going, it can help set your vision for where you're headed. The other key thing is that once you set a BHAG and you start sharing with people what your dream is, they want to help. You will find people come out of the woodwork for you as long as you're clear and transparent about what you really want. So that is exactly what happened to me once I started sharing, like, I kind of want to start an aquarium in Newfoundland. People were like, what? Cool. And they would help me. And we created this team and this incredible founder circle of people and volunteers and donors who were foundational in the development of this project and are ultimately are still to this day helping and holding it up and, and continuing to help the organization thrive over the last total of 15 years. Setting something visionary for yourself and asking for help, welcoming people into, into your dream is going to help get you where you're going. I'm so proud of what we've accomplished and there's so many people to thank in the process of making this happen. Not only were we able to open on the exact day that I, I dreamed we would, we were also able to exceed every other goal we had set for ourselves. We were able to exceed the number of visitors. We wanted to see 15,000 visitors in the first summer in only like four months. And we exceeded that. 17,500 visitors came through in the first year. We got more media attention than we anticipated. And all of this happened just within a short summer thanks to five years of hard work from so many people that made this possible. So all I can say is set those goals big and high because the oceans need your vision. The oceans need your help. And whatever approach that you're taking to support ocean conservation and ocean awareness, ocean advocacy, we need it. The ocean needs you. So please, please do it. Finally, congratulations to everyone who's ever been part of the Petty Harbor Mini Aquarium community. I thank you so deeply from the bottom of my oceanic heart and happy World Oceans Day to everyone watching. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do. It's just two clicks. Bloop, bloop. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I look forward to chatting with you in the comments.